Here is KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, another frosty one tonight through tomorrow morning. After that, milder temperatures for a couple of days before the next front gets here Friday morning. More on that system coming up in just a bit. First off, big picture across the lower 48. Pretty sedate weather pattern across the Gulf South and much of the central portions of the U.S. We have inclement weather back to the west. That's going to be our next frontal system and uh, next snowmaker, at least for the Midwest, maybe not the Northeast, but there's going to be another big snowstorm down the line for much of the nation and that big snowstorm winding down 20 30 inches of rain in some spots in Pennsylvania Jersey up to 35 inches of snow. That's a big one for the Northeast. Meanwhile, for us, we're basking in the sun. We feel so guilty, don't we? We have to shovel all that sunshine out there. Some high level cirrus clouds across the area. Those clouds are holding up our temperatures right now, but they're going to thin out later on tonight. So temperatures will drop again into that frost zone through tomorrow morning as high pressure stays near and dear to us uh, uh, with a light Northeast flow that always spells temperatures to go below what we normally see for forecast guidance. And we got 34 and we're going to go with that uh, for tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, temperatures get into the low to mid 60s with lots of sunshine. And as we head into tomorrow evening, southerly winds returning, so we're not going to be nearly as cool. You can uncover the plants after tomorrow morning. And then a breezy and mild one for your Thursday with mostly cloudy skies, maybe a few light sprinkles out there as warmer air moves in, kind of a little bit of a warm front moving on through temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. Then that front entering the area and this this latest model run of the graph model a little bit faster, bringing showers into the area. Don't think we're going to see any thunder. We're not concerned with any kind of severe weather threat either. And that front pushes down to the coast. Some clouds early Friday, but I think we see the sunshine in the afternoon. And it's going to be breezy and cooler as well. And we see that high pressure ridge building in on the Euro model. And then uh, we go a couple of days down the road. Another disturbance comes in Saturday. So a quick moving system uh, and milder briefly Saturday and then cooling back down for Sunday into early early next week and then uh, it gets a little bit more interesting as we'll start to see colder air trying to work its way southward. But the main impetus stays north of us and look at this whopper of a snowstorm that's going to develop here. Rain and storms for us and then another big snowstorm for the mid Atlantic and some very cold air trying to work its way southward. Here's the temperature forecast on the Euro model. This area in purple at sub zero readings. The areas in blue, darker blue are teens and then uh, your freezing line is right here in this white area. So uh, maybe we get a shot of some pretty cold air down the line, but too early to tell how cold. And uh, this is probably going to be the last chance we see at any cold temperatures all winter long. Now, mind you, just three freezes so far this winter in Lafayette might have another one or two down the line for sure. Temperatures lower th uh, 30s tonight near freezing northern portions of Acadiana, mid 30s, I 10 quarter and much the same along the coast. And then that warm up tomorrow into the low to mid 60. So here's the 10 day forecast. We'll go with 34 tomorrow morning, 63 the high, lower 70s for Thursday, and then rain chances Thursday night at about 60%, ending early Friday, Saturday, some more rain chances, but overall, not too bad of a pattern as we go into at least early next week. That's it for weather. We're going to have more coming up in just a bit.